Hey, what's up guys? Darkbreaker here and let me introduce you guys to today's sponsor. It's gonna be whatstats.gg, the best analytical platform for Wild Rift and they have new features right now and hopefully it's gonna load quickly. This is the part where you can see um, the pick rates, the win rates for champions, which is really interesting because you can see for each division and for different time frame and for each position as well. But now you can click on this and you can see the win rate progression, the pick rate progression, the average KDA, the amount of games uh, total, the champions popular with Lux, for example, the champions she's strong against, the champions she's weak against, and the most popular item builds and runes for her, plus the best items on this champion. This is, for example, Arden Sensor Lux support. And then you have these items for AP Lux. So this for an example, and this is for every champion, you can check it out. So that's super interesting for you guys to know what to build and when to play this champion or who to play with and against. Then on top of that, you have the global leaderboard to check all of the pro players for different servers, Europe, North America, Southeast Asia. On top of that, you can obviously also check out your own profile to see your own progress and your own stats. But yeah, definitely check out the website. Link will be down below in the comments and I see you in the gameplay. Let's hop right into it. Here And in today's video, we are gonna play Fiora with the new skin um, Glorious in Legend rank. It's gonna be a really high elo game. And for the item build, we went uh, not for the Heartbreaker build, we went for more like teamfight oriented build where we are actually gonna go for the death dance as well and we are not gonna go for the Heartbreaker. First item, the main core item is still Divine Sunra, granting you tons of damage and sustain against tanky champions. Then Blade of the Room King gives you a lot of damage and dual power also gives you life steal. And on top of that, you are stealing the movement speed from the opponent doing a lot of magic burst damage. Death Dance, basically the reason we are getting this is for the physical damage reduction, which is great for team fighting and also great in the 1 vs 1 against physical damage uh, champions. And whenever a champion dies, you get extra sustain. Guardian Angel for the revive and team fights and Sterox Gauge, giving you even more HP and plus 50% base attack damage, plus the shield when you're low life. For the runes, Grasp. Grasp has been absolutely amazing after the recent buff they did on this uh, rune since now you get extra AD scaling. Um, this is pretty amazing. I feel like the music is kind of distracting for me. I know it's not going to be in the VOD but whatever. So this rune pretty much guarantees you a very strong laning phase, uh, insane harassment in the laning phase. While Conqueror is more like a scaling rune, I mean it's also decent in the early game. Um, is pretty strong uh, for the mid and late game, but Grasp just has the, like the whole package in my opinion, where you want to dominate in the early game and try to snowball, and with this you can zone people way harder and you get extra sustain, and it also skates into the late game pretty well now. Champion gives you a lot of damage at all stages, unless like till you're not till you you just have to not die and you will remain the eight percent extra damage onto champions, second win for the sustain in the early game and demolish for the split pushing whenever um, you push someone away out of the lane you can get some platings and each plate is 150 gold and um, if you're split pushing this is really good to siege the turret super quickly and then just ignite flash for the kill pressure. That's about it for the um, yeah, for the introduction of the item build and the runes and let's hop right into the gameplay. So, let's get started. As you guys can see, it's a pretty high elo game. Um, in this gameplay, I was ranked 4 in Vanquisher. And let's see, I, I don't remember against which players we are playing, but it was a pretty high elo lobby. Dark. You care, thought you carry me. You are jungle, carry me. Okay, I'm just writing. You are jungle, carry me, carry me, please. Okay, let's see what champion I'm 
DB, it's your favorite ADC. Oh, it's Stuart! I remember, I thought it's maybe Kranix or something, but uh, which one? <laughs> but it's it's Stuart on ADC. I remember now. It's Stuart on ADC. So in the early game, what I want to do is try to zone this guy away from the minions and try to hit the Vita. I didn't hit it, actually. Like, look at the pressure I'm applying in the laning phase. Now I hit it. So every time he tries to come close to, to the minion wave, I will try to harass this guy. And chunk him down a bit. Hit the last hit. And hit the white bomb. That's a lot of poke already on this guy. See the gold difference by the way, I'm not showing it. I can see that Camille is in the river right now. So might have to be a little bit careful about okay no never mind. I see the Camille's bot lane so I can still play aggressive on the bot side. Okay, I tried to block the barrel, but he didn't he didn't use it. So right now since I pushed the wave and there's nothing to do, I'm just gonna go for the oh, never mind. I wanted to go for the scuttle, but Camille actually was like, never mind, I'm dipping. I'm dipping on the bot scuttle. I'm gonna go for the top scuttle. And I see now they're fighting, they're chasing really deep. I'm actually rotating in the early game because I know I already hard shot the wave um, into Gregor's turret. Then I'm gonna go for this guy. Bam, I get one kill. And right now I'm just flashing to get this guy. Then I can get this kill actually. Charm, charm, charm. Nice. And we get... I get two assists actually. I should have, I should have been a little bit better at uh, securing this kill for myself, being greedy. Um, but we still end up getting three kills in our favor while I didn't really lose that many minions topside since the wave was really pushed into his lane. So this was already a pretty good roam by a baron lane. Like usually you don't tend to roam. But since I already shopped in the wave and I had nothing to do, um, I just went for the roam play here. So, pretty good advantage for us. Trying to arrest this guy. I was like, he's gonna body. Usually people tend to use the body slam immediately the moment you're dashing in, but this guy was patient. Just trying to last it every time. He comes close, I'm trying to harass him. Oh, I didn't quite hit it. What you can also do is like a poke combo that you can do on Fiora is you use the third ability onto, onto minion and then the second hit is gonna be a crit and do a lot of damage and then you can use that um, with your first ability. So use the third ability on a minion first, and then the second hit in combination with the first uh, ability onto the opponent for a quick uh, burst combo. Or burst, uh, burst poke combo. Just gonna do scuttle right now because I already shot the mini uh, minion wave and I have nothing to do. That guy is playing really safe, so... Um, sometimes people are gonna be overextended where you can just free poke them, you get them uh, low enough and then you have a big wave and you're just crashing and then diving. Uh, but in this case, this guy is playing it super super safe, keeping his distance and only last hitting with the first ability so he's actually missing out on a lot of last hits because of that. Okay, I almost have Sunderer. Ay, ay, ay. I try, I try to reach this guy, but he's always keeping his distance, so he's doing that part pretty well, to be fair. How did they not hit the Viper? Oh! I actually dodged his ultimate, because I I used my dash in. I'm not sure if I should have used flash immediately, but... Better being safe than sorry. That guy used his third ability already, so he can't escape anymore. Nice. Um, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't need to use my flash there because I still have my second ability 
to block his ultimate, but I feel like better safe than sorry. We get the Rift Herald. Nice. I'm gonna reset with Sunra and then I'm gonna go for the dragon. Trying to help my teammates out. Because I think me coming there can also turn the tides. I mean, I could obviously go for the turret. But I think we are in a position where we are really strong, where we can just uh, we don't need to crossplay, and we can we we can just contest all the all the stuff. I'm gonna use the Rift Herald here, trying to get this now. Pocket with the demolish, demolish value bomb, and now the Herald is gonna secure the turret, the mid turret, which is actually better than the top turret. I go for this guy, he dies super quickly here. Yeah. Nice. Can I dash him? Oh, I think we can just dive here. Bam, we get the kill and I'm dashing out. Very, very good so far. Okay. Pretty good snowballing game. We impacted the early game by rotating. We joined the Dragon Team fight, secured the mid turret. Um, I think we're securing this bot turret at the same time. And now we are also gonna get the dragon. So very very good early game start by us and I think we did a pretty good job at rotating even though we don't necessarily have to do it but it worked out pretty well in this case. It's fine that he dies like yeah he gave a shutdown but he still managed to secure the inferno plus we got two turrets so very very good early game and look at the gold difference we have a 2300 gold difference on this guy. I think I can still use Twitch chat to be fair to see how you guys are <laughs> reacting to my voiceover. Oh, this is too much actually. Does it look kind of? I think it looks a little bit too big. I make it a little bit smaller. Okay, like this. Oh yeah, I can see it's definitely moved up a bit. I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left side. No, it should be better. Hi, YouTube. One, two, three, OG Paul with the hi, YouTube. Let's go. Come to Twitch. <laughs> yeah, YouTube frogs also come to Twitch. Let's go. Feel free to use your Twitch free uh, Twitch Prime sub here for some extra perks. True. We have a lot of new emotes, by the way. A lot of new Dark Rick emotes. Let's see. Right now we already secured two turrets, so let's dive this guy and secure the, the remaining tier one turret. <laughs> and this guy is just getting bullied into oblivion. Thanks for the turret. I'm just gonna go for the turret while they're chasing. Or while the Kha'Zix is chasing. Bump, the turret. On my way. Actually, those emotes, I want to sub now. Yes, Itadori, I want to sub too. Oh. Wait, let me move the chat a bit. Okay, no, it's better. Otherwise, we're doing pretty well right now. 10-5. We have good elite. I'm gonna go bot lane right now, trying to deep push this wave. And after I pushed out this wave, I'm gonna join for the Rift Herald. I'm gonna push one more wave in. And then I'm gonna go for the Rift Herald. Yes, um, I would say Fiora is a lot of times um, better split pushing instead of joining the team fights. But if you're ahead already, then might as well join the team fights. So try to help out your teammates. Oh, that was a nice play, by the way. We secured the kill, I think. Yes, we do secure it. Nice. I feel like my teammates are kind of getting greedy, where they are making plays that might not be the safest, and they end up dying for it. But it still works out fine. Um, oh, the S1 flash! To extend the range of the first ability to secure the kill. Go. 
I think the main important thing in the team fights is um, using the second ability correctly in team fights. Like if you can block, like if they're all bunched up and you block one ability, you can stun them all. You and this is actually a game-breaking ability if you can land it correctly and block the key ability. Like let's say someone is using Ari Charm on the you. They're dashing in, they're trying to use Ari Charm, and the other people are also lined up right next to her. You can stun them all and turn the team fight. Just by landing, I think the main important thing if you guys want to play um, Fiora and team parts correctly is um, find the right flank angles or also use the second ability correctly to block key abilities and stun the opponents. Because the second ability is, I think, what makes the difference between a good or a very good Fiora is actually hitting the second ability and timing it correctly, anticipating the opponent's key abilities when they're trying to CC you. So you need good timing and you need good prediction to use the second ability correctly. Or good reaction time as well. If a Camille ultimate is jumping onto you, you can block it. Or you can even block Malfoy ultimate if you have like a really good reaction time. Or you're kind of anticipating it. Let's say everyone is bunched up. Malfoy is using ultimate and you're just blocking it with your second ability. And that would be a very chat moment. This thing I'm gonna use ultimate to this guy. Up, oh, eating. No, no, block it! I blocked the tornado and I survive! A clutch, clutch breaker! <laughs> Let's go! Yo, yo, yo! What happened to Twitch chat? You guys are quiet. Feels bad, man. No interaction, no interaction in the stream. We are kinda dead. Be it's fucking bad, man. Okay, gonna get the death dance now. We have a 5000 gold lead. 5000 gold lead right now. Just enjoying content through. <laughs> like luck breaker, I, I mean I don't deny luck, but uh, this was also good timing to block the tomato to be fair. This was very very close. We've made it. I think the turn on Camille was pretty good. So, like the moment she committed, I press ultimate and just turn on her. I should have stayed in the healing zone immediately though. I kind of disengaged a little bit out of the healing. the blue buff um i can go hp or not oh no i'm asking should i go for split push build or should i join team fights just asking the team because they do have good stalling with ari and uh, Ezreal though to be fair okay play team fights they are fighting though <laughs> i'm pushing how are we fighting okay never mind maybe i should join I'm greedy, I didn't join immediately. I could have joined quicker. Could have joined quicker. Help 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 the boys out. Maybe I should have joined quicker and help the boys out. Maybe. Or maybe they should have played safe for a little bit. Are they gonna try? No, they're trapping. They're trying to trap here. Oh, they're committing pretty hard. Oh, that protocol was bad. Ay ay ay. Oh, that combo was so good by him. What was it? E flashed by Gragas into Yasuo ultimate. Ay 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 guys. Ay ay ay. Okay, I'm surviving. That guy's popping off. Kha'Zix popping off. Kha'Zix machine. Kha'Zix machine. Kha'Zix popping off with the reset. And that looks like a Baron Angle. That might look like a Baron Angle. Oh, does he want to push? I think he wants to push, actually. I think this might have been a Baron Angle, but we can also go for the tier 3, to be fair.
And remember with the demolish, look how quickly the turret dies because of the demolish value. Fuck, oh, jam. I know the I know the title of the YouTube video. I know the title and I know the thumbnail that I'm gonna do for it. Fiora is broken as fuck with grasp. <laughs> That's gonna be the title, something like that. Fiora new skin broken with grana. No. Fiora grasp is broken as fuck. Something like that. I'm gonna get Ganya Angel. S plus 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 no I don't think she's S plus right now. I mean I think in solo queue if you're really 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 good you can make her work super well because she is probably one of the best one vs one champions and one of the strongest early game champions uh, in the Baron lane like very annoying to deal with like super super annoying. It's probably one of those champions I fucking hate to uh, lane against, but I feel like her team fight value is. Kinda tricky. Like, I think you need to be a perfect Fiora to make her work in team fights. Like a perfect, good timing, good spacing, and finding the right flank angles and using the second ability correctly. Okay, GG's. The title is I played Fiora with grass when this happened now. Nah. It needs to be Fiora's broken. People with people are um, clicking on it just for the word broken. They're like, mm, I want it, I need it. But yeah, we played against. Oh, who do we have? Yeah, we had Stuart. We didn't play against any really known names. I mean, we we know Ibrahim for being an Inter, but he's actually Immortal One, by the way, guys. Ibrahim Z is Immortal One, so he's not that bad. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I see you next time. Bye bye. Yo, Twitch chat, now is your time to shine. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. It's your time to shine. Bye bye. Hi, Chronix. Um, <laughs> bye, YouTube. Yo, um, we've played Smurf. We tried to queue up for Legend. We, yeah, we, you still can find. There's so many Legend people, by the way. We have like. Eight, eight people that are legend right now, or more people. But uh, I queued up for. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.